What's up guys, it's Chase from Chase's Workshop. And in this video series, I'm gonna go through how I build my pickups. And we're actually gonna go through and I'm gonna go step by step of uh, creating a pickup. It's probably gonna be uh, two or three videos long. I'm not sure how long of a series it will be. Um, I'm just gonna go through all the different parts to use and when we get done, we're gonna put them in this guitar that I've been, this uh, guitar I've been working on for a little while. And hopefully we can get them in there and uh, see what they sound like and maybe, uh, go from there i will say this i am no expert at building pickups so there is a mountain of information online about how to get different sounds and stuff like that and in, in this video i'm not going to be going through none of that i'm just going to be going through how i build a pickup and how i make one putting a guitar to make it sound to make to make noise um but like i said there's a lot of videos out there that you can you can watch and get different ideas uh, but we're going to go through some of the steps that I take in this video and some of the parts that I use. So, hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. Alright guys, the first thing I want to go over uh, with building pickups or some, what I do is, is to get yourself a journal. And a pad of paper, a notes on your iPhone, anything, anything will work. But when you build pickups, you know, when I build this pickup, if I put a name on here, if I put a number on here... <clears throat> And I write that number on here, and I coordinate what I did to that pickup. You know, I put how many how many wraps wire did I put on it? Which way did I wrap it? Uh, what pol polarity is it? Um, what type of magnets did I use? Uh, it's a countless number of things that can go into a pickup that can change the sound. So once I build that pickup, and I've documented what I was in it, once I put it in a guitar, if it sounds great, and I want to make another one just like it or resemble it. I can go back and I can I can see what I what I use to make that. So I really think that's probably one of the most important things. All right, guys. The next thing I want to go over is is the flat work that we're going to be using to build these pickups. And on on these pickups, the ones I've been building, the bottom flat work is thicker than the top flat work. So this bottom flat work is uh, three thirty seconds, and the top is one sixteenth inch thick. Uh, I, I just bought the parts from, I bought a plates of that those thicknesses from stumac.com. I want to say these were around $5 a sheet, so not too bad. I could probably get, you know, eight or nine pickups out of, out of one of these. For the back plate on this, on the bridge pickup, I use, I just bought a sheet of copper, one sixteenth inch copper sheet from uh, eBay. And I think it was, this was between 20 and $30. And I will say that I did, I use a CNC machine to cut cut these parts out, but don't let that discourage you because you can buy all these parts from anywhere online. You can buy them on eBay, Amazon, just about, just about anywhere to to get started. Okay, for this for these pickups that we're going to be building, we're going to be using these Alnico five bar magnets, and uh, I got these from uh, Stu Mac too, and I can't remember the price on them, but once you buy so many, you you get a, a discount. Uh, and I think I, when I when I bought this set, I bought enough to build like four pickups, and so I've got enough here to build two more pickups. Um, but you can buy different different magnets give different tones, and like I said, there's a mountain of information on stuff like that uh, online for if you want to get a diff this type of tone, use this type of magnet. Uh, you know all kinds of stuff about that. So if you're interested in that, just uh, look online for some things uh, around getting different tones out of the pickups and stuff. Alright guys, the next thing I want to go over is this eyelet setting tool and bit. And we're going to be using this to to build uh, on build these pickups. And I bought this from Stuart McDonald. And all it is 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 a uh, it comes with it's a kit that comes with a drill bit. That's the right diameter for the eyelets. And here's the eyelets. And then here's the punch. And what I'm talking about here is, is right here where these where these wires go in right here. There's um, you have to have a spot to solder to. And so you put that eyelet in there and you smash it down. And then you, you wrap your wire on before you start wrapping the pickup. And when you put your wire in there and you solder it, it has a spot for it to actually hook to. I can't remember how much the kit was. I want to say it was over twenty dollars, but it's well worth it. And there's, I mean, you, once you buy the actual punch and the drill bit, you just buy more eyelets. And so, I mean, it's a little bit of an investment, but it's it's well worth it. All right, guys. The next thing I want to go over is the the wire that we're going to be using for these pickups. And uh, this is actually a Timco forty two gauge. Try to get it to where you can see it. Timco forty two gauge. Uh, I bought this on eBay, and I don't I don't remember the price on it. I think it was. 
$25, something like that. Um, and I, I did both of these pickups right here off of this this one right here. Uh, 42 gauge, that's that's what, when I started out, that's, people said to, to start out using 42 gauge. So that's what I've been doing and it seems to be working, working fine, so. All right, guys, the next things we're going to go through is some of the tools that I use to, uh, to put these things together. And uh, I'm going to say probably the, one, of the, one of the main things that's really important on especially finding like polarities and stuff like that of the pickups is just a, a simple comp compass. Uh, I like, there's, there's a guy on uh, YouTube named uh, Will's Easy Guitar, and he, he goes through a lot better than I, than I would ever be able to. And he's one I learned from on, you know, like degaussing pickups and um, checking polarity and changing the polarity of pickups and stuff. And he's got a lot of great videos on there. And uh, a lot of what I've learned about building pickups, I've learned from him. So I would highly recommend you check out some of his videos on that on that subject. The next thing that we're going to use is, is I'm going to go over just, just these magnets. And they're, they're rare earth magnets. You can, I bought these from uh, Stu Mac. I, th I think they're actually made for like uh, acoustic guitar repair or something, but they're extremely strong. And this is what we'll be using to actually charge the pickups. And um, you know, if I want one to uh, be north polarity and one to be south polarity, then we'll change it with this. And like I said, in previously was is Will Will's easy guitar. He goes over all, all this stuff and probably a lot more de in depth than I'd be able to. But uh, so check check some of his stuff out on that. The next thing is just some simple pickup wire tape. I mean, you can buy this stuff anywhere. I bought this from Stu Mac as well. I bought a lot of my these parts to build these from Stu Mac, but um, it's very helpful. Helpful, especially on on uh, you know when I put it on I, on this pickup, I put it inside here when I put the top on. On this one, I just used a uh, just some um, cotton yarn and wrapped around it before I potted it. So. You can get some of this if you want to. This I think it's really, really good to have, especially if you're, you know, if you have a mistake or something. You can, you can, uh, a lot of times you can use this tape to fix it. The next thing I want to go over is uh, some lacquer, and I, this is actual uh, gloss guitar lacquer. I, I so this is what I've been using for these pickups. You can probably use any kind of lacquer, varnish, anything like that. But w what it's for is, is once we once we build the pickup, once we get the bottom flat work and the top flat work on the pickup with the magnets in it, but we don't have any wires or nothing on it, it's just flat work and magnets. We're going to take it and we're going to dip it into our lacquer. And then we're going to let it sit for a minute and then we're going to pull it out and let it hang to dry. And all, it's, it's, all that's going to do is just put a protective coating over everything. It's going to put it over the magnets, over the flat work and all that kind of stuff. But the last thing that I want to go over that I, that I use is uh, once we once we have the pickup done, we have we have a pickup that looks like this right here. We're actually going to take it and pot it. And there's a lot of videos on YouTube of how to pot pot uh, pickups and stuff. But uh, all I use is is, is uh, 80 percent paraffin wax and 20 percent beeswax. And I, I bought I bought both of those on eBay. I just searched paraffin wax. Bought you know. I think four or five pounds of it, and then I bought a, a, a it was like a bag of beeswax, and they were like these little pebbles, and I just weighed them out and put them in there. And there's probably a lot more chemistry involved in that than I do, but I, I just kind of just I weighed it and put it in there. But like I said, it was a close to an 80-20 mix between 80% paraffin wax, 20% beeswax. And once we get that, we'll take it. And I actually have a uh, old fry daddy that I put water in, and I put a little. It's like a little canister that sits inside of it with the wax in it and it kind of creates like a double boiler and with that and a uh, thermometer stuck in the in the wax to uh, make sure we're not getting it too hot and stuff like that and then you just take it and dip it in there let it sit for however long uh, I think it's I, I let it sit there till the bubbles quit I kind of move it around if the bubbles stop coming out of it I know it's pretty close um, Will's Easy Guitar he, he uses actually a vacuum system and I'd like to eventually maybe get to that to that point I feel like that would probably be a lot more efficient than just letting it sit in there but um, this is all I have now so hopefully maybe in the future well alright guys that's about it for this video uh, in the next video we're actually going to go through I'm going to I'm going to show you how I do, cut out all the flat work uh, install the magnets um, dip it in the lacquer 
we're going to go through the process and hopefully maybe by the the third video we'll actually be winding the pickup on the the pickup winder that that uh, I showed you guys how to build in my first ever YouTube video. Um, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, just let me know. Uh, if you have any ideas of how to make any of this stuff that I'm doing better, please let me know. Um, if you if you're going to get into the different top tones and stuff in in the pickups, I would I would just suggest getting on, on YouTube and getting online and searching because there's a mountains of information about uh, different techniques and stuff that you can do to to uh, your pickups to get different tones and stuff like that. In this video, I'm I'm not going to get into all that. I'm just going to basically we're just going to build a pickup and I'm going to just try to show you my foundation to where maybe you can change some things to get your sound of what you want. Well, I hope you enjoy, guys, and if you like it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.